another week another trading cycles video my name is Ormas and welcome to week 9 2024 we're gonna have a look uh, what the last week uh, did bring us and uh, what we might expect from uh, a week began began now <laughs> which is um, uh, today is 26th of February uh, when we are recording here first uh, couple of things uh, to remind you uh, this content is provided for educational purposes only and obviously you need to do your own, to, own due diligence uh, before you make any decisions and obviously uh, also do your own research uh, that way you can only blame yourself um, uh, we are here at trading cycles and uh, not taking any responsibility of um, your decisions obviously yeah. and um, yeah, always trade the price and not the prediction, uh, as we like to say here. So um, let's have a look what was going on in a week. Now, there have been obviously uh, winners and losers, and um, uh, we thought we would uh, mention now um, uh, one of the winners, obviously, NVIDIA, which was um, the most antip anticipated uh, earnings report uh, last week. And uh, Rivian uh, would be one of the losers, I would say. Yeah. So that uh, didn't really excite investors or, or rather scare them off. Yeah. And uh, basically the price dropped uh, quite a bit during the week after the earnings. So uh, let's have a look here what else was going on. So um, AI sector obviously was in focus um, because of Nvidia's earnings and um, that was all good. Now, there was, were some mixed economic data, obviously, and also cautious uh, Federal Reserve um, minutes um, came out. So, obviously, the main, um, uh, so to say, uh, bias is at the moment uh, uh, to keep uh, interest rates higher for longer. Mm, but there have been some indications as well that some of the members are already a bit scared that um, if it's going to be held too long uh, on that high level that might break the economy so we shall obviously see the next uh, meeting is in March and, and um, we should get some sort of um, outlook further into the year in that meeting as well now technology sector uh, uh, did reflect uh, continued uh, investor optimism as well and uh, that is um, a good thing now what uh, also has been um, has been heard of um, in investment um, mm, uh, so to say community is um, a talk about uh, whether it's a new bubble now in the AI market or is it uh, just a boom at this stage and um, uh, quite a bit of comparison has been going on with the uh, 2000.com uh, bubble um, where we have we saw uh, Cisco uh, raising like uh, now Nvidia is rising in price but um, there's something to keep in mind that um, uh, back in uh, 1990s when the internet uh, started to grow and uh, then we we saw well not all of them all of us really <laughs> were um, uh, maybe trading at that time but um, maybe we were too young or, or don't remember but back in the days the internet was just um, started to uh, to rise and um, that boom so to say uh, did start already in mid 90s and back then we, we he heard um, similar concerns that it might be a bubble and uh, it might be also um, soon going to end and the internet is not really taking us anywhere and uh, what's that internet anyway, so um, nobody's going to care about it. Um, but obviously now we know that um, internet did took off big time and uh, now we couldn't uh, really... Um, live without it anymore yeah so we can't really imagine uh, how how we would um, uh, communicate or, or do our things uh, daily without internet uh, so similar um, uh, factors are in play in in my opinion in regards to ai as well so it is now a, in its infancy so to say but it is growing very rapidly and um, there is no way to stop it anymore so it's going to be integrated into our lives and uh, it's going to affect our future as well so um, 
Bearing that in mind, uh, there are obviously a couple of players that um, are standing out at the moment. In the future, there are going to be probably new players as well uh, emerging at some point. But um, um, at the moment, we are keeping an eye mainly on NVIDIA and let's say SMCI, and also Microsoft is, is a big player now. So basically, those are the companies. Um, that uh, are driving uh, that that boom and um, and uh, there are some other players uh, indeed as well if you look at the numbers the numbers are still solid so basically there is no uh, no way to tell at the moment if if it is indeed a a uh, bubble that could burst at any point of time now I think we are in sustainable growth area, although the growth has been quite rapid and that's why we have those concerns, yes, so um, these things are quite normal in, in those um, those cycles, yeah. Uh, there will be uh, probably corrections as well, so it's not going to um, sustain itself uh, going up um, in a straight line as it has, but um, in the long run, I don't think we are still in uh, in that bubble phase just yet. Uh, it, it might take um, maybe a year or two or even longer until we get into that phase. And um, as we already indicated in the beginning of the year that uh, this 2024 year should be a quite positive year to end with, um, then uh, that is quite normal uh, behavior obviously on the market as well. And technology has been and will be one of the big drivers of, of the market nowadays. Yeah? So, bearing that all in mind, um, there are a couple of companies um, that uh, might be worth keeping an eye on as well. So, um, uh, from the uh, chip makers themselves, so NVIDIA, obviously, SMCI, as uh, mentioned, then Sterling Infrastructure, um, who is building infrastructure for um, data centers and also Mod Modine Manufacturing, MOD symbol, which is benefiting from increased demand in data center cooling systems, for example. Yeah? So they are um, in, in, in growth as well because of that boom. And for example, Vertiv, uh, VRT, a company working closely with NVIDIA uh, on data centers. So obviously there are uh, other players as well. So um, that um, market is very rapidly growing and, and we need to find those key players um, on that uh, area as well. If you look at the technical picture of NVIDIA, so last week we did see price dropping to that um, support line here and um, it did bounce back very heavily. So um, um, there were no indications during the week that um, the price is going into a negative territory. So technically we were all green and um, that's uh, what we now know uh, really happened. Yes, uh, price did bounce back very, very rapidly and uh, did uh, form new highs there after the earnings report. Um, and same we can say about those um, other players as well that um, I just mentioned. They have been all showing uh, very strong growth and um, especially SMCI, which has grown about three times in, in the past month or so, or a bit over a month. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it is uh, showing those um, very rapid growth um, patterns, and, and um, that's why we have those questions, obviously, on the market as well. It, it raises um, quite many concerns already, already, so people tend to be more concerned about uh, if prices are going up <laughs> <laughs> they are going down nowadays, so yeah, uh, that's the that's the way it is. All right, now one of the prices that went down, and there are still quite many people who are holding into that stock uh, for some reason, is Rivian. Uh, so, electric cars industry hasn't uh, really been blooming at the moment anymore, yeah, and um, we can say that about Rivian as well. So the numbers are not good. They're not making any any money, and um, yeah, the price did drop uh, around I think 
was it 40 percent during the week after the earnings yeah and it was in in strong downtrend anyway so uh, that was quite expected as well we shall see if there's going to be a turning point at some point but um, yes at the moment the price has dropped to ten dollars already yeah so um, not looking good at all now the actual uh, price movement of S&P 500 um, during the week, um, we did see that uh, very strong and uh, and sharp turning on Wednesday when Nvidia numbers came out. First half of, of, of the week was um, a bit negative, but yeah, second half of the week was very strong again. Now 50-day moving average of broad market is uh, still sitting on those. Um, um, 50s there, yeah, in mid range there. Mm, we do expect uh, price maybe to decline further into that green zone, but um, yeah, we shall see how it's gonna go now. Uh, 200 day moving average of SP um, 500 companies uh, is still sitting uh, above 70% area, and it, it did go back there to be fair, yeah. Uh, now, um, again, it should start correcting at some point as well. Yeah. When it's obviously hard to hard to say at the moment. And uh, Wix index um, haven't seen any movement either. Uh, it's still um, quite low, and uh, that trend line hasn't been touched. So one moment obviously it will, but at the moment it's uh, sitting strongly there. Now technically S and P 500 has been very strong for. Uh, oh, I already lost the count how many weeks, but um, yeah, since uh, beginning of November, and there have been no red markers at all on these indicators, so it's been all green and all growing um, very rapidly. Uh, if you look at the weekly chart, then uh, yes, we can see that this uh, rubber is already very stretched, so, <laughs> so the price has uh, has gone very high, uh, very rapidly, and. Um, when is it going to correct? Yes, so obviously we are keeping a close eye on it, but at the moment, yes, there are no signs just yet. Maybe we'll get some signs this coming week, maybe in the beginning of March, but yeah, at the moment, um, I wouldn't really recommend to short this market uh, just yet. Yeah, so that's um, not a very safe area to be in on that uh, very strong momentum market. And technically, uh, Russell 2000 small cap uh, companies haven't seen that strength, unfortunately. Yeah. So the main focus has been on on bigger companies. So that market has been uh, moving in that oscillating pattern at the moment. Yeah. And in here we can't really rely on uh, moving averages. Um, we need to take uh, momentum indicators into account if we are trying to make money on these markets. Yeah. Now sector uh, performance for the last week uh, we did see consumer defensive and healthcare to be the strongest and uh, real estate was the weakest during the week and um, from other areas um, well it was more green than red but we did see some redness there as well so we did see Tesla uh, booking holdings uh, we saw Disney to be weak and Adobe for example and yeah, they were all not performing so well <laughs> but uh, yeah obviously mainly the market was in in growing um, pattern there yeah. now what the insiders have been doing during the week um, mm -hmm. The selling pressure has continued and we did uh, hear some more news during the week as well from bigger players so uh, Jeff Bezos uh, kept selling as well another uh, 2.4 billion I think um, uh, worth of stocks uh, were sold by him and uh, also JP Morgan uh, CEO did sell quite a bit of his uh, stock portfolio so um, yeah insiders are uh, cashing out um, whether it's a sign some sort or is it just um, just uh, taking some profits out um, it's hard to say obviously there might be so many reasons when um, key players are are selling their stock if they're buying that's going to be obviously more um, indicative that they are believing into the uh, company but um, for selling there might be so many reasons it's hard to hard to say 
But obviously, we have to be cautious, yeah, in that sense as well. Now, fear and greed uh, index has been in greed and extreme greed uh, zones quite a bit now, and um, now it's back to extreme greed uh, at 78 points. Very strong um, indication that market is strongly and rapidly growing still. Mm, now, seasonally, you know, we do expect um, prices to correct as well at some point during the next month or so. Is it going to happen now soon enough, or is it going to be more in in mid March or or beginning of March? Hard to say again. Obviously, in, uh, the seasonal patterns are not always the same, but it does give us a tendency of price movements, and um, that's uh, uh, something we we are expecting, and we are being a bit more cautious. Yeah, so it's. Um, more difficult to go long at the moment um, on markets than um, than um, obviously uh, it used to be <laughs> a couple of months ago maybe um, but um, wouldn't really go short either so it, it's um, a time when maybe it's wiser to sit on our hands and, and do nothing but um, yeah it's um, difficult to do nothing as well as um, some of you might might know <laughs> But uh, it is a safer option at the moment, I would say. So, if we are moving forward uh, astrologically, mm, the week, uh, second half of the week seems to be more uh, positive. Um, first half might see some corrections there. Uh, Wednesday, the 28th, might be a uh, turning point as well. So, that's something to keep an eye as well. Yeah. Mm. Now, and our black box model uh, did indicate um, a top there or very strong growth uh, for the end of the last week. Is it gonna correct this week? Well, hard to say. Uh, maybe it's it's gonna still um, keep growing. Obviously, the patterns are not so negative. It's still in positive territory. But uh, yes, that top was indeed um, quite indicative, and we did see another. Um, Another uh, record uh, for S&P 500 as well in the last week. Now, what to expect in this coming week? Um, there will be some inflation data, and um, Fed will uh, comment as well. Mm, so basically, uh, all eyes are are going to be there as well, and ears, so to say. And uh, earnings season is continuing still. There will be quite uh, quite many companies reporting, and we'll keep an eye on some of them as well. Uh, real estate and economy updates will come this week as well, so mainly home sales and home prices will be reported, and um, and and uh, yeah, uh, also Canadian uh, financial sector um, uh, numbers will come out. So we will see uh, Bank of Montreal and uh, Royal Bank of Canada. Uh, and numbers coming out, so um, obviously we will have some sort of idea how how Canada is doing as well. Yeah. Now on Monday uh, today we will see Workday, Zoom, uh, Domino's Pizza, Unity Software uh, reporting earnings. Tomorrow on Tuesday, Lois, um, then Bank of Montreal and AutoZone, for example. On Wednesday, Salesforce, Snowflake, Royal Bank of Canada, HP, uh, TJX, and Paramount uh, as well, and Monster Beverages, uh, indeed, as well. Yeah. On Thursday, there are going to be um, uh, BAD, uh, symbol reporting. So basically, that is one of the companies that has catched my eye, and it might be more positive than others. Well, we shall see if it's going to play out so as well, but that's based on the uh, IPO per chart um, transits there. Uh, Dell Technologies also reports, um, and uh, Best Buy indeed as well on Thursday. Now Friday we will see uh, Radnet uh, reporting, that's going to be probably more negative. Uh, Plug Power as well, and Fubo TV. Uh, cyclically, we have been keeping an eye on um, Will Stower Watson uh, stock, um, and it has seen very strong growth as um, the cycle is also um, indicated. 
Now are we gonna see now a bit of downturn? Obviously we'll keep an eye on the price itself and how it's gonna react. But yeah, possibly the, the cycle should be in play. But yeah, how it's gonna play out, we shall see next week then. Yeah. And um, let's have a look at some uh, graphs as well. So for S&P 500, the next turning point will be on Wednesday as well, 28th. So um, I think it's going to be quite a strong day. That's also coming out from astrological um, uh, aspects there. So we shall see how it's going to gonna play out there. Uh, if we look at the cold market, um, then the price has now started to um, recover. We are still in a bit shaky territory because we have that uh, strong resistance there ahead. But if it's going to break, break out or break through that resistance, then it might go quite a bit higher as well. So, yeah, at the moment um, we are a tiny bit cautious. If we see more indicators coming into the positive territory, then we might be looking for, strong, for uh, long positions as well. Uh, if you look at um, uh, Bitcoin price, then yes, this market um, has now started uh, breaking to the upside again, as we did suspect uh, what might happen. So uh, it has seen very strong growth. Uh, then we had a short consolidation period there, and now today the price has been breaking out again. So we shall see if it's going to gonna have another uh, strong move up from here or not. Now if you look at uh, bigger players here, um, let's have a look uh, at Apple first of all. So um, with Apple we did see last week uh, turning on 21st. Is it gonna now turn again on Wednesday the 28th? Well, Possibly. We shall see what's going to happen there. Mm, those directions might not be correct, but uh, but yeah, turning points uh, on, on these pointers uh, should hold. Um, if you look at uh, Amazon, Amazon has been, has been very strong still. And uh, this 50-day moving average has been uh, holding for now as well very strongly. Uh, so it is on momentum move. Google has been quite a bit weaker, yeah. So there is obviously quite a bit of um, uh, support uh, underneath as well. So if it's going to break through those, then yeah, it might move lower. Mm, but if it's going to you know, bounce back, then yeah, we, we shall see some upside movement as well. At the moment, um, some indicators are turning red already. Yeah. Microsoft has been uh, quite strong, and it did turn on 21st as well last week. So possibly moving even even higher. Nvidia, as we already covered, uh, it did bounce back from this 50-day moving average and um, it did end up um, on the record highs. And this momentum movement uh, might still continue. Now Tesla has been quite weak um, and um, everything is still in red. Basically, it might. Um, go a bit higher from here, but until we see some strong indications, I'm not going to really touch that market at the moment. Yeah. And Netflix has been very positive. Possibly another move up uh, is, is still ahead of us. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it. And if we look at a couple of um, companies as well that we have pointed out last week, uh, so we had a couple of uh, short candidates. Uh, both of those did fail uh, last week, as we did see a very strong up movement. Yeah, so Vertex and Starbucks, um, neither of them really dropped uh, down from here. And technically, to be honest, yes, they were, um, they are moving in, in that channel as well. So yeah, uh, until they break out of that, uh, it might be hard to hardly predict a good, a good direction. Now, if we look at the long candidates that we had um, pointed out, then AMD did indeed break uh, up uh, quite heavily uh, during the week, so that was a win. And same goes with BlackRock, uh, that was very strong uh, up um, a week as well for this market. So, uh, yeah, these were obviously uh, correct. Uh, looking into uh, this coming week, so basically a um, couple of short candidates again. Um, 
one of them is caterpillar which is now against that resistance zone and we did see some divergence coming in as well um, a couple of weeks ago so um, we do expect this market to start correcting um, although indicators are quite positive still yeah so we again need to be a bit cautious about it but um, yeah astrologically there is a tendency for weakness now and same goes for Bristol Myers um, basically technically it's it's uh, a strong upside uh, movement at the moment going on but uh, astrologically we did see some uh, weakness there coming up so uh, well we'll keep an eye on it as well during the week uh, now uh, long candidates that we would like to point out one of them is Nike um, so that one is against this uh, small um, uh, resistance that has been now forming here um, is it gonna turn down well possibly um, yeah, there, there is not such a positive, um, obviously, momentum going on. I mean, is it going to break through? That, yeah, <laughs> that's rather the the, um, the bias we have here. So basically, um, it is one of the long candidates, and uh, then PepsiCo as well. So that uh, might go a bit higher as well. So possibly at uh, around 173 mark there, or maybe even higher. Alright, so that's about it for this week and um, I will thank you all uh, for um, obviously being with us and if you do like our content then please um, press that like button as well and also turn on all the notifications then you will not miss any of our videos um, and also if you have any questions then um, write us a comment and um, We'll be happy to um, uh, take your um, questions and, and basically uh, recommendations into account as well. Anyway, I'll thank you and uh, have a great week.